videos here yeah, there's something interesting here that we need to know when we have two power we have a power like this and they added up so we can separate it from law of indices when we have something of the form a raised to power m plus n we can break it down and say this will be a raised to power m times a raised to power n so when we apply that in the power here we can say we have x then raised to power x raised to power 1 then times x raised to power x so the power here has been dealt with we separated it there then we have that then equals to on this side we can write it as 4 raised to power 4 4 raised to power 4 is same thing as 256 and from there there is something here that we should see again here now we cannot say we write this as x raised to power x then all raised to power x then raised to power x since these two power multiplies we can separate one of them inside and this one you know will be outside like this when we do that we have this when this multiply we see have this back then equals to 4 raised to power 4 and there is something we can see here that's interesting that we have same number racing to same number so x raised to power x is still raised to power x raised to power x so on the right hand side as well we can see that we have same number as the base and the power so clearly from here we can see that x raised to power x equals to 4 which we can write again as x raised to power x equals to 4 can be written as 2 raised to power 2 so clearly from here again we can see that the base are the same the power are the same therefore our x is equals to 2 and we can check by putting x equals to 2 in the equation given unto us so we can do that to confirm thank you for joining us don't forget subscribe to this channel for more of our videos see you in the next class and bye for now